Hello. This is our third video in our um, Faces of Easter and um, our, our family study about um, the life of Jesus. So let's get started. Jesus came back across the Jordan and began to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one wanted to come close to. See? He's come close to the blind man. He's come so close that he was able to touch the blind man's eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They could see things they had never seen before. They could do things they had never done before. They became well. Jesus also told parables. Finally, he knew that he had to become a parable. And so he turned toward Jerusalem for one last time. Jesus heals. Jesus went to Jerusalem for the last time. It was the time of the Passover, so the city was full of people from many different lands. They thought Jesus was coming to be king, but they weren't paying attention. He wasn't riding a great white horse like a king. He wasn't being carried by soldiers. He was riding on a donkey, and it wasn't even his. He had to borrow it. Still that Sunday when Jesus came into Jerusalem, people waved palm branches, which were a sign of kings. On Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, Jesus went into the temple to teach. Every night he went back to the Mount of Olives with the Twelve. The people watched him and whispered that the Mount of Olives was where angels were supposed to come down to make an army to drive away the Roman soldiers. The temple guards said, on Thursday, we will take Jesus. But on Thursday, they could not find him. That evening, Jesus and the 12 hurried through the dark streets to a house. They climbed up the stairs to an upper room and shared their last supper together. After they had everything they wanted to eat, Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. And then he broke it and said something like, Wherever you break the bread like this and share it, I will be there. He also took a cup of wine and gave thanks to God for it and said, Whenever you share a cup like this, I will be there. What was he talking about? How could they know? Still, they did not forget, and later they would understand. Suddenly, Judas, one of the twelve, got up and left. The rest sang a hymn and went, went to the Garden of Gethsemane on the Mount of Olives because Jesus wanted to pray. When he was finished, he joined the twelve, but Judas came out of the dark and greeted him with a kiss on the cheek. This was a signal for the temple guards to look to take him. They came out of the shadows and took Jesus away into the night. The twelve also disappeared into the darkness. Jesus and his disciples shared the Last Supper.